Hey Pre-K, it's Miss Nina. Do you remember earlier in the year when we learned how to draw owls? It was around Halloween back then. I was gonna show you step by step so that you could recreate the owl that you made earlier this year. I've got a piece of paper and a Sharpie. You can use a pencil or a pen. First, we're gonna start with an oval near the top of the page. Make sure it's not too close to the very top of your page. Inside, I'm gonna draw two circles. And in those circles, I'm gonna draw two more circles, little ones, and I'll fill them in all the way. These are the eyes of the owls. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. They have pretty big pupils. Inside the oval, I'm gonna draw an upside down triangle by drawing a straight line and then connecting them towards the bottom. Now I'm gonna skip down to the bottom of the page. We're gonna draw the branch that it's standing on. So from one side of the page to the other, I'm gonna draw two sort of straight lines. Branches usually have kind of a curve to them. And now here comes a really long line, are you ready? We're gonna start at the branch we're gonna go up and over that oval where the face is, and we're gonna connect back down to the branch. Here I go. Up and over, back down to the branch. Next, I'm gonna draw his tail peeking out from underneath the branch. I'm gonna draw three little bumps so that they look like feathers. Then I'm gonna draw his little claws hanging onto the branch. I know you're learning about birds and science right now. Can you remember what the claws are called? They're called talons. So I'm gonna draw three little ovals, one, two, three, and then three more, one, two, three, for each of his feet. And I'll add the talon claws onto the bottom of the feet. And now it really looks like he's holding on to that branch because I drew them on the top of the branch. Owls are super good flyers and they can tuck their wings in really tight against their bodies. So on the inside of the owl, I'm just gonna draw two C type shapes. One of them is backwards to make it look like his little wings. Now here comes the fun part and you can add lots of different things when you're decorating your owl. Maybe I'll draw a couple bumpy lines to look like more feathers. Maybe I'll add a moon in the sky. Remember, owls come out at night because they're nocturnal. I could even draw some circles to look like stars. Or I could draw an X to look like stars. I could even add decorations around the owl's head if I wanted to. You can do whatever you like for this extra part. Maybe I'll give his wings some stripes. Maybe I'll add some extra feathers on his tail. Look, I can even add stars down here because he's up so high in the tree. Can't wait to see you draw your, can't wait to see your owls that you drew pre-K. And I hope you're having so much fun. See you soon. Bye.